Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number five of my Arsenal Football Manager 2016 Let's Play. And just a bit of an update here on the staff responsibilities. I am actually going to let Steve Bold, our assistant manager, going to handle the tunnel interviews and also the press conferences. I notice they do take up a lot of time in the videos, like I just compared to the last episode where I just played one game. If I did two games like I normally do, it would just be a bit too long and I feel as though sometimes it's a bit awkward uh, when I'm trying to read some of the answers, like the five answers, isn't it? Uh, four or five answers in the in my head and read the question as well. Uh, it's just not really natural to me. I haven't really done the press conferences and stuff like that in my football manager videos before, so I'll just let my assistant do them and we'll be able to yeah push forward. And usually I just try and get a good assistant manager. I'll leave Steve Bold for now, but eventually I'll probably replace him with a really really good assistant manager. Uh, to do well and give good answers in those yeah press conferences and tunnel interviews to get good reactions for our players. So I'll leave that for now so you guys uh, can understand. But firstly, we have to deal with a bid from Chelsea for Callum Chambers. Like I'm almost immediately just want to don't listen to this at all because he's like a key player. Just like I don't even want to make a count. I just want to reject and that's it. Where are we? They... I, uh, he's indispensable to the club, really. Even though he's not a first-team player, like a key first-team player, he will be. So I, I just can't accept that. It's just, I would feel that it's unrealistic for him to move on. And we need him. We need him at the club. And I'll leave normal, because uh, if you put it too low, uh, players will complain and high. You don't want to be yeah, paying too much. So I just generally leave it on normal. I experimented once and put it on low, and a few players yeah, complained, about, complained about the money. Uh, obviously, yeah, a lot of footballers yeah, want to be getting the money. That's the way it goes. Also, uh, Thomas Rosicki, uh, I'm not sure if anyone really noticed that he's not really part of the first team, but I tried to list him now. Um, is there any teams that are interested? I might lower the offer. Oh, he's injured right now. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> no one's going to probably put an offer in for him. So let's just put, well, what are we going to do? What, 500K? Offer to clubs. And there we go. We're just going to... We're going to do that for now. So... And also... Yeah, Callum Chambers. I'm not surprised uh, Chelsea were interested. He played a really good game against them. He impressed. Um, it was yeah, disappointing. So I've got to look... This is what I'm going to do a lot more. See, so 7.8. Look what he did. Look at the challenges. Um, the headers he won. Everything. He was really good. Three of them were key as well. Three key headers. What a performance he had. It was really, yeah, uh, gone under the radar in that game. I was disappointed because we lost. But, yeah, he put in a great shift coming off the bench when we had to play with three centre-backs. Well, we didn't have to when I chose to play with three centre-backs. So, um, that's uh, part of that. And, yeah, if you're new to my videos, those are the kind of things I want to go in-depth with. So, if I added, yeah, the press conferences along with that would probably make yeah, videos too long, especially as I do record every single game, two games per episode. So, game six days from now uh, will continue until then. Maybe we'll get some transfer offers. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. So here we're going to ask Rosicki to speak to clubs as well, but it's going to be hard because he's injured uh, for a few months. I think we both know, or I don't know, maybe he doesn't know his time is up. I'll say we've translated you without success so far. I need you to try and make it happen. Uh, yeah, he wants to see what the future holds. It's your decision, of course, but I have to reiterate that I don't see a future for you here. Okay, now he's going to try and find a club for himself. Hopefully he does. Because I've always thought he was an okay player, um, a decent player at his best, but always had injury problems. And now that he's old, that's just going to be showcased a lot more and we have to move him on. So, uh, Matthew DiPucci, he had 100% yeah, passing accuracy. Uh, you know what also else he had 100% accuracy? Of getting red card. He got 100% accuracy of getting red card in the first game. Uh, I'm, I'm still very disappointed about that, but... Yeah, maybe we have to give Cullum Chambers a go at right back uh, from his before performance replacing him, even though it was at centre back. But yeah, got to analyse all that stuff. So guys, it has started already. So after that offer came in from Chelsea, now Cullum Chambers, he's wanted to talk about wanting to leave to Chelsea. This is exactly how things can fall apart. But what does he have to say? See, it's his, affected his morale. Oh, I don't like that. 
I've heard rumours that Chelsea are interested in me and I'd like your permission to discuss terms with them if a bid is made. Joining them is a great chance to become a more important part of the squad, which would really help me progress my career. Why, why can't you can progress? Yeah, why can't you progress your career with us? I'm just trying to think here. You're not going anywhere. Um, I've got to say a positive thing. I, I don't want to promise at the same time if if an offer comes in from Chelsea because if offers do come in, I don't want to accept. I'll say I don't think you're going to get as much football as you need at Chelsea. Mm. That will be true, but he maybe he won't believe it. Where's... I'm just trying to read these in my head here. This is why I'm not going to show the press conferences because they've got to yeah, read so much stuff. I don't know which one is the best. I appreciate your honesty, but I don't really see any point... Uh. I'll just say if any reasonable bids come in... So, yeah, I reckon they removed that. Like, where you can say, like, if you win the league, you, uh, win the league or something, they took out those expectations because I always used to do those and offers will go away. Just say, well, I would say that a lot of the time as well. Um, but uh, we'll see if bids come in. But I really don't, I just don't really want to sell him. Like, if an offer comes in, then he's going to be so disappointed. Like, I hate, like, he's like a prospect for us. Like, I don't want someone intervening and ruining, like, this great talent we have. Uh, you know what I mean? I just don't, yeah, I don't want to let him go. And I don't want to be pressured to at the same time. And even keeping him and he's at a bad morale, I just, yeah, I don't want that. Uh, so I hope, I hope just, yeah, Chelsea, just go away. Please go away, Chelsea. So, interesting opening day result. Tottenham beat Manchester United 3-0. So, uh, we'll check out the table. Obviously, yeah, Tottenham. So, that's a disappointing start for Manchester United. Harry Kane scoring a goal as well. And, yeah, player of the match. Um, good start by Tottenham, I suppose. And just before our match, we get an injury to Per Mertesaka. So, again, oh, that's another position uh, we're going to be in trouble for for the next few weeks. So, we'll leave to physio. That's all we can really do. Um, give injections is the other option, so no, you wouldn't really do that at 30 years of age. Uh, it's just disappointing. Just how many days? Uh, it's tomorrow, like a day before the match. He gets injured, I'm guessing, in training. Just, yeah, it's disappointing. So, guys, now match preview for the first Premier League game of the season. Away from home against West Ham. You know West Ham have been really good in real life. Definitely doing better than expected. So it'll be interesting to see how good they are in Football Manager this year. Uh, I guess we're going to find out today. Big game uh, to kick off the Premier League season in this episode. I suppose we can put everything behind us. Like Chelsea, uh, the loss we had. Uh, there was positive signs after thinking about it. Like Callum Chambers, how he performed uh, looking at his rating. I didn't notice that until yeah, um, now uh, in this episode uh, when checking him out. It did really well coming on 7.8 rating. But then Chelsea um, obviously showing their interest, pressured him. And now he wants to leave us and move to Chelsea. Like I don't see the point. What, what, he's like trying to achieve something extra in his career. But Arsenal, Chelsea, both top four Premier League teams, and I felt, I just feel he'll be a regular player, uh, more at Arsenal than he would at Chelsea, and I have high hopes, like, I just really want to give him the reassurance that uh, I, I think he's an amazing player, um, I, there's not really an option for that, I don't think, we just say, I think you're an amazing player, and I really want you to stay, you're going to be a big part of the future, just try and say something in that way if it's possible. But anyway, time to get into the first game of the season. Um, the real stuff's beginning now, and this is where we can turn any negatives into positives. Get good results, get a win, and that's what fans want to see. Uh, also, we'll just click on Sanchez here. You can see the improving of attributes, so you don't even have to go to attributes to see yeah, the show recent attribute changes to click that. It shows it anyway uh, on the profile, which is good. I don't think it showed that before in previous years. So, Alexis Sanchez, he's a guy, like, these guys are going to have to step up, like, big players for us are going to have to step up, uh, like, Ramsey is big for us, Ozil, Sanchez, and I suppose Giroud as striker, a lot of people just don't think he's good and needs to be replaced, but he's got great attributes in, like, certain areas, so, yeah, hopefully we can get the job done, we are playing complete forward on attack, so you can see there, uh, it covers a lot of his yeah better attributes. He's a, a very good player in like he's got some very nice attributes. He's got some very high ones, doesn't he? So he can score goals if he use him the right way. So 
I hope we can go in and we just look. The conditions are the one on the left, and the what's that? The match sharpness is the one on the right. So some like Cullen Chambers, we're giving him a game here today. What a way to start, and we'll see how he plays. He deserves a start most definitely uh, from his last game. So. Yeah, let's just go straight in. Uh, we'll go straight here. It says, yeah, uh, don't tell me this is going to show up every single time we go into a match. Like, they're lacking match sharpness and may struggle to see out the match. Like, I'm giving them game time because they need that. They need the match sharpness. They need match experience to get that back. So, that's going to be pretty annoying for me if that's going to show up every single time we get into a game. And also with the 3D gameplay, I changed it from high like the quality of it high to medium because i felt it was slightly slow uh when processing and stuff so yeah changing from high to medium uh should be able to fix that so you can see their lineup uh enna valencia up up top uh, there's payet there's other good guys in the team as well obiang lanzini moses zarate well, the, their team's good some decent defenders as well, Ogbonna, Tompkins, uh, Cresswell I like as a left back, so yeah, they've got an alright team, I reckon West Ham will be a good save to do, if just any suggestions for you guys, so I'm probably not going to do any opposition's instructions though, I did some against Chelsea, well actually didn't do too bad, did it, but I don't really know anyone that's that dangerous, like is Enna Valencia that dangerous, um, I don't think he is, and now saying that, he'll probably end up scoring, How about Payet, for me I feel Payet's probably their best player, so we'll tight mark him, and what a show onto his weaker foot. Yeah, even that just processing there. When I had it on high, um, um, high quality, um, the 3D gameplay, I felt that in the previous episode, yeah, it was a bit slower. So, yeah, that felt like it fixed it, fixed it up a little bit. So, that's all good. Uh, passionately. Oh, do we go passionately or assertively? We'll go assertively and say, I'm expecting, you got to be expecting, I reckon. There we go. A couple players motivated. We'll get Giroud on the strikers. Because uh, he's the only striker. Um, I think there's a lot more to come from you. Okay, he's just listening keenly. I'll, I'll leave those. I'll leave those reactions. We've got a couple motivated guys in there. So, we'll see how we go today. And do you like the 3D gameplay? Would you like 2D? 2D, I've always liked 2D as well. But 3D, it may be a better look for YouTube. But leave your thoughts. Uh, maybe I should do a poll. <laughs> leave your thoughts if I should do that. But I can just judge of more comments. Would you like to see, yeah, 3D gameplay going forward or 2D? Uh, 3D, as I said, it will take a lot, a uh, bit longer to upload videos, but not majorly, because my internet's pretty fast, can upload videos at a decent speed, but yeah, what do you prefer anyway, taking all that kind of stuff off the table, uh, what will be a better viewing for you, 3D or 2D gameplay? Uh, this is an interesting game so far, we're not really uh, creating many chances, come on, like, what highlights, we're on, we're on key highlights, and there's nothing really key shown at the minute. Okay, maybe a late one. Gabbiadini puts it in. Come on, fall to us. A goal before half time would be excellent. Gabbiadini. Oh, falls to Giroud. Oh, Giroud, saved by Adrian. Great chance. Well, not great chance, it was just a chance for us early. Best chance for the game. And here we go, it's Ozil. Meza Ozil. Puts it in. Alexis Sanchez. No penalty. Ozil. Someone, come on, falls to Ramsey here. We're moving the ball well early. Well, early, it's almost half time, and we're probably going to have to oh, uh, change things up. Going to second half, we'll go from control to attacking. Uh, no funny business, uh, pretty much. Uh, good to see the body language. Um, players motivated. Uh, good to see. But we're going to say, assertively, it's. I'm just not happy with the performance. We need to see better than that. And every single player is fired up. So come on, we got to see a change. And with that, I reckon we'll change up the instructions a little bit. Shorter passing. I think we'll go more direct passing now. Re retain possession. Nah, we'll leave that off. Uh, more direct passing. Uh, run at the defense a bit more. Maybe we need to see that a little. And be more expressive. Uh, we got to go. Uh, did changing from attacking... Yeah, I think changing from attacking made it go from high to higher. So, I, I don't want to... Um, mm. Wait, what's the options? It's much lower. Lower normal than higher interesting okay <laughs> we'll just leave it like that anyway because we gotta well, we gotta go for it either way and maybe t oh, oh it's it's interesting there's so much pressure like can you tell that uh, i hope you can tell like the pressure that's on me like you can tell by my voice and everything like that and my reactions like <laughs> to do well like you got to make the right decisions and i suppose 
that's what the best managers do. Oliver Giroud, uh, not playing well. Hopefully, he can take a chance, though, and then that rating will change completely. Callum Chambers finds Coquelin. Sanchez! Oh, Adrian, how did he save that? What an effort. Now it's Ozil. Gabbiadini. Oh, no. What an opportunity that was. How was that save, though? What an effort to save. you got to praise the goalkeeper, Adrian. He, he made a couple good saves in this game so far, keeping his team in it. And Debushi, he's recovering from the previous game against Chelsea. So I'm guessing he's not missing a game. He got suspended in that game, and yeah, he's not missing in the next game. But uh, thankfully for that, uh, who are we going to bring on, Matt? Uh, I, I probably think Walker. Uh, Theo Walker with his pace and Giroud. Uh, both Gabbiadini Giroud is not playing well. So what do you do? You bring on Theo Walker as a striker, um, but we'll rotate with Gabbiadini. Um Put him in the position we kind of signed him for. But what would you do here? Would you put Walcott in a role he more prefers? And we'll go on attack. And even Sanchez. We'll still leave inside forward for Sanchez. But we'll put it on attack. Just to yeah, go a bit more attacking. And that's about it. Yeah, that's uh, Well, not it. That's what we're going to do for now. And we'll confirm changes. Uh, Theo Walcott. Just the one change. Just his pace. Hopefully. He can make the impact out wide on the right. Maybe get a ball in as well. We'll have to see. We'll have to see and see how Gabbiadini goes. Because, oh, we did have a couple chances in this game. Uh, Reese Oxford, youngster coming on. I really want to win this first game. Oh, You have no idea for how long I've wanted to just get to a good start uh, in my first series. Oh, this In Football Manager 16, I really want to win this. I really do. Santi Cathola, maybe, for for Ozil. Ozil, I guess, I guess, oh, we have to make another change. But Arteta, who hasn't played, uh, maybe off for Ramsey, just a more, I don't know, maybe more experience in Mikel Arteta. He's seen this occasion before. Can he step up, the captain of the club, and yeah, do something here today? Uh, tactically, obviously, uh, we've got to give it time. I can't just react and say, this tactic's not good. Uh, we've got to play the style that suits our players and make adjustments. Um, yeah, make adjustments as we go on. But um, we're not taking or not creating. Maybe a team talk is due. Assertively. Demand more. I just feel like this is going to end up nil-nil. And it's not the start to the season I was anticipating. But maybe there'll be a chance. Coquelin finds Arteta. Koscielny. Arteta, come on. Let's take this. Alexis Sanchez! Come on! Yes! Alexis Sanchez in the 84th minute. First goal of the season. Exactly what we have been looking for. Yes. Come on. I thought we weren't going to get it. But that's exactly what I was looking for. And the impact of Arteta. What a sub that was. And Sanchez with that header. A bit more in... Slow motion, you can appreciate that finish and the coolness of that. And here we have to be smart. Uh, we shall go... I still feel we can control. We can still control the game because we've got the personnel to do that. So, yeah, we're on control now. Um, maybe a bit lower tempo. Just, yeah, maintain the possession. Uh, retain possession as well. Um, can you keep it on shorter passing? Yeah, uh, the first option there. Um, run a defense, I suppose we'll leave it. Worth ball into the box, play out of defense, and we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave it like that, I think. Whew. Whoa, what a goal. What a goal. And I missed this. I missed this last year playing football manager. Oh, wow. What a goal. And what a time to score. Hopefully, we should be able to hold on for the three points. And yes, we are. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We, we did have to grind. Oh, but our superstar in Alexis Sanchez got it done. But they have a late free kick, actually. Uh, Walcott. Yep. Just be smart. And yes, we get the points. And I really did not think it was going to happen. Thought it would have been one of those nil-nils. But we're able to work it. And Debucci, wow. He completely stepped up. 
Um, he atoned uh, for his error in the previous game against Chelsea, getting a red card. So what we did, like talking to him, everything like that in the media, yeah, everything like that works. So um, telling him that's not good enough, a good win, boys. Well done. Three points. I'm not sure. Well, I would say it's a perfect start to the season. The performance, probably not, but the result, yes. It's good to pick up the three points and we take it, especially when like a team like Manchester United, a rival for uh, the title this season, and even just top four in general, um, that's probably the goals for us. Just get the top four. It's good to see United <laughs> lose in that way uh, so we can yeah start well to the season. So, yeah, um, decent performance, but what a game from Dapushi. And then, of course, Alexis Sanchez with the goal. But Arteta, who created it, probably deserves to start the next game and who is the captain um, of Arsenal. So, as you can see there, all these achievements, clean sheet, first victory, back of the net. Uh, picking those up, usually at the start of a new game, yeah, you get a lot of those achievements, but wow, Sanchez, uh, I know, I've got to keep the faith in him, he's going to be a superb player, superb player for us this season, he's only 26 as well, so quite a few seasons left in him, Kieran Gibbs, I accidentally put him in the under-18s, so I just talked to him and, yeah, fixed that, hopefully, um, I wanted to give him, yeah, some under-21s experience um, for... Um, yeah, reserves, reserve games for match fitness, pretty much. So that was a good result. Six days away, and I'd like to get another game in this episode so you can kind of get a feel of the structure of my Football Manager videos now. And yeah, that will be basically uh, yeah how will the series go. I'm, I know some people play games off camera, but I like to do yeah two games every episode and smash out videos, as you'll see right now. Uh, but yeah, six days away from the Everton game. I reckon in training, see, again, I like to be in-depth and show you these kind of stuff at the same time uh, with the team. I still feel... Uh, it's weird, because we're playing away, I want to work more on defending, but I think we still need to work on attacking movement to win games. But working, yeah, the tactical side of things in the general training for the upcoming game. And that was from the previous game as well, the previous week. So uh, we'll go into the Everton, Everton game with that, and we'll see how we go. Also, another notable player was Lauren Koscielny. Uh, he is into the Barclays Team of the Week. Uh, as you can see, 7.7 uh, rating, defended really well. We'll go to his report. We'll check out his form, see how he played. Yeah, look at all those headers won. Seven key. So our defense stood up. That's really, really good to see. Uh, also, Callum Chambers. Um, how did he go in that game? Uh, we'll go to form. And yeah, 7.7, .7, so another good rating. I just hope the interest disappears from Chelsea, but I don't think it will, and even Man City as well, because he's a high-potential English player, and usually, yeah, good for homegrown and everything like that. But hopefully he just gains some confidence. Um, play, he knows he's a first-team player. Well, he feels like it at the minute. And hopefully, I said, yeah, he's got that promise now. He says his promise that a club will accept a transfer offer from Chelsea as soon as they bid. Well, I just said that to keep him happy. Like, what else could you say in that situation? Leave your comments what you've got good reactions for so far in FM16 because I really do not want to sell him. So here's another result. Look at that. Liverpool winning 1-0. They move into first. Uh, doing pretty well, Liverpool, so far. As you can see, two wins. You can't complain. Uh, Liverpool, did. for me, Liverpool do really well in Football Manager. Have you experienced that? Like, in recent times... Obviously, you know Liverpool's troubles in real life, but in the game, they always do really well. I remember in FM15 as well, they, they seem to get results. Uh, who ended up scoring there for them? Uh, Christian Benteke, uh, too good, I suppose. Who else played well? Moreno, Sacco. I do like Sacco as a defender, uh, but they just... Uh, they just uh, Manchester United looked to be uh, for a struggling season. Um, I, th I felt that would have been the case. I, I felt in Football Manager this year, their team wouldn't be the greatest. And as you can see, lost the first two games. So another reason I probably yeah, stuck with Arsenal uh, for this year. But yeah, moving on now, uh, we have our game today against Everton. Uh, we're going to be looking for uh, first two wins. And that will be huge because yeah, two, two away games to kick off the season, uh, to get them out of the way. Like, to get two wins away from home, two first games, it's it's still, even if you're a top four team like Arsenal, you still have to play well for that. So we're just going to match preview right now. You can see um, everything there. Um, the other results as well. Chelsea uh, doing really well. 
And even Newcastle winning the first two games, they beat Bournemouth. So Bournemouth, they could be in for a struggling season, but also they won their first game. So interesting results. Mikel Arteta is going to start this game because he did really well coming on, getting the assist. Also in training, I'm working on leadership. If you move that off and put corners, it apparently it that's suggested. Should be put on an individual training regime to improve his leadership abilities so obviously yeah that's been working i've been on that since i kind of started the save in pre-season and obviously it showed when he came on uh, created the goal because his leadership is 15 if he can get up 16 17 he can be a real leader of the club even more so than he is right now as captain so i think it will be good to start him obviously yeah i wouldn't want him just to stay on the bench every single game it will be good for him as captain. So again, we'll go to captains. Yeah, Mikhail Arteta captain and Per Mertesacker is vice. So anyone else we're going to change? Ooh, Giroud. What are we going to go with? Uh, Gabbiadini, 96. Oh, maybe give him another chance. Obviously, need time to adjust. Uh, because if we drop him and don't give him a chance back in, he can just yeah be disappointed like for a long time, like the whole season. Also, also uh, Daniele Rugani squad were available for... Um, under 21s to match fitness yeah there we go hopefully he can get, get some game time and get his fitness back up there same with Matthew uh, Flamini and we've got Kieran Gibbs and Joel Campbell Joel Campbell actually scored you can see he's got good average ratings but yeah 90 minutes and I think this will be the team to go in with obviously Arteta yeah he does need the sharpness match sharpness so Callum Chambers as well will get another game uh, that will be another reason the best chance to, for him to not want to leave uh, will be for to play him in as many games as we can. So, yeah, heading straight into this matchup would be excellent if we can get the win. Everton are actually favourites here. Everton's favourites to win this game, and they lost their first one. So, yeah, it's a big part. Obviously, yeah, if a, if a team's playing at home, there's a good chance, uh, good chance they'll be favourites. So, Lukaku, Naismith, Lennon, Morales, uh, Barry and Barkley... Oviedo, Stones, Jagielka, Coleman, and Howard. So it's a pr Everton. Their best starting eleven is solid. Obviously, it's probably not top four, uh, but it's solid. Uh, anyone dangerous for them? Mm, Lukaku. I reckon we have to tight mark, and maybe show on to his weaker foot. But anyone else? I don't think that's super dangerous. Maybe Lennon because of his pace. So we just again Lennon will. Whereas Lennon uh, will always close down and. Show it on to his weaker foot. So we'll just leave it uh, like that. And maybe Oviedo could be a weakness at left back. But yeah, we'll see how we go in the first half. We shall go assertively. Oh, I said, oh, I'll go out there and impress me. Not really amazing reaction. So we'll go along with that and say assertively, I have faith in you. There we go. That seems like similar reactions. I always used to do that in FM15, uh, kind of try and make the players happy by just saying, I have faith in you. And generally, yeah, they look happy. And some people say doing that every single time is not always good. So I won't do it every single time. But yeah, every now and then, just to uh, improve their morale is is not going to be so negative. But if you do it like all the time, yeah, they're maybe going to become complacent. So just to do it every so often, uh, get good reactions will be good. But hopefully, uh, I really like to get a good start to games. So I don't have to worry, yeah, like we need to score a late goal like in the last game. <laughs> there was so much pressure on that. But maybe we can get an early goal here. Giroud. Giroud finds Mesut Ozil. And he finds the back of the net. Not to worry. He finally scores a goal. Mesut Ozil, of course, missed the penalty in that Community Shield game. But yeah, that's what I mean uh, when I talked about it in that episode. That fixture is going to be forgotten about once the season's underway because yeah, winning the league is much more important and it's good to see Giroud involved in that piece of play picking up an assist he's good he can play that target man kind of role but yeah complete forward to have that kind of creative ability he's not essentially creative but he's tall and he can create opportunities and then yeah play it off to someone like Ozil uh, running through on goal and was able to finish so great start to this game of course Arteta playing against his old side uh, we look good early here don't we we look very good and it's really good to have Petr Cech uh, I talked about it previously as well how he used to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world not if not the best uh, so he's still he's still a good quality, still a pretty good goalkeeper to have. Ozil, I'm really liking this here. Debushi, okay, finds Gabbiadini. 
Back to Dabuchi. Dabuchi puts it in. This could be a second for Mezet, is it? It is! Mezet Ozil, two goals in the first half. What a game. And look at the fans behind the goals as well. They're liking that. How about that? Yeah, Gabbiadini, what a ball to play back. Debushi, after that game against Chelsea, he's been really stepping up. But how about Mesut Ozil? Him as well, because he missed a penalty. Two guys that were really disappointing have stepped up now. Maybe could we get a third in the first half? Finish this game off in 30 minutes, could we? Coquelin, Arteta, Ozil. Alexis Sanchez, Tim Howard, the American shot stopper, makes the save. Much needed st save, but yeah, they look rattled right now. Oh, good interception, Koscielny. He is a boss at the back, really. Great centre back, one of the best in the Premier League, in my view. Falls to Ozil. He goes for his hat trick early, but um, yeah, was able to make the save, and Everton were countering there. Look at the ratings, okay? There's a chance now. It's Oviedo. Oviedo, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Come on, Barry, put the pressure. I know me talking, saying push the pressure doesn't do anything. But <laughs> anyway, it's Morales here. It's Oviedo. And Debushi again clears it. Now it's Gareth Barry on the ball. We're defending well at the same time. I really like our defense early. We haven't yeah, conceded many chances in all our games so far. So that is good signs. Ozil's looking really dangerous, isn't he? Now it's Coquelin going what? Oh, the overlapping is looking really dangerous. Debushi, Gabbiadini, can he score? He falls. He doesn't. But how much space are we creating out wide? That's amazing. But especially Debushi, he's really owning that role. If you compare it to Monreal, Monreal's getting yeah good ratings as well. He's actually got a higher rating. But you obviously see Matthew Debushi is yeah, getting forward a lot more. Uh, but the fullbacks are getting their job done. Um, Meza Ozil, uh, doing well, Giroud, yeah, I do, I personally, I actually like Giroud, I know there's a few people that probably want to replace him, which you probably think I did with Gabbiadini, but Gabbiadini can play that wing role as well, right wing, cut inside on his left, uh, which he's doing pretty well, he's getting on the ball a lot, that's what I like to see, Ozil, back to Debushi, I'm not doing that on purpose with Debushi, he's just getting involved a lot, oh, here we go again, what a ball, he finds him, Gabbiadini, Ozil, Finds Giroud. What a play. This is Arsenal at their finest. And Mikel Arteta sinks his old side. The captain of Arsenal as well makes it 3-0. But how about that beautiful passing? That's Arsenal at its best, really. And Giroud, look at that. That back heel. Oh, to Arteta. And had the coolness to finish. Had the composure to make it 3-0. Oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Oh, we're playing some good football, aren't we? This is Arsenal beautiful football that Arsenal like to play. I wanted to create that at the same time. Or could it be four? Monreal, it's four. It's Gabbiadini scoring his first goal for Arsenal. It is 4-0. Is this real life, man? I thought it would be a struggling start to the season with the couple early results, like the Chelsea game, then West Ham didn't score until late, and Gabbiadini makes the impact. That's what we like to have. Obviously, Giroud as striker, who hasn't scored, though. He's creating a bit more, and then allowing, yeah, a more attacking midfielders or just midfielders in general, like Arteta to step up, but Ozil yeah, doing well, Gabbiadini. Whew, nothing but praise. That was perfect. That was a perfect first half. That I can't... Well, how about Monreal as well? He picked up a assist. 8.5 was really praising Debushi, but I didn't see, yeah, Monreal as much. Of course, he did get an assist. But wow, what a game. Everton's not that bad, are they? 4-0 away from home? Imagine the odds of that. <laughs> you would have uh, got some decent money. Uh, judging that Everton were favourites. Oh, but Lukaku's on. Don't get too excited, but Petr Cech, uh, was alive to it. That's what the best goalkeepers do as well. When you're dominating a game and you feel like you have nothing to do, but you gotta lock, you got to look out for that one opportunity that the opposition may have. And uh, yeah, you may just be sitting around doing nothing all day until that one opportunity comes. So you've got to be yeah, on your game. And he was there. So no one's having a bad game here. So everything is going really to plan... Yeah, I'm trying to look. Anyone needs to be subbed out? No one, really, in terms of their performances. But, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep someone fresh. Like, uh, who's got the lowest? Uh, Arteta. Hmm. Arteta's had a good game. 
but we don't want him to get injured because he's a bit older. So we'll bring on Aaron Ramsey here. And again, the suggested subs, it just makes it a bit more easier to navigate. Navigate? Navigate, that's the word. (laughs) It makes it easier to navigate around. I'm just a bit excited here with this performance. But yeah, that's a good new feature. Those little things in FM, uh, you got to get excited about. Uh, Francis Coughlin maybe as well, make two subs. He's 73. He's going to be a really important starting player for us. But actually, we don't really have someone in his role. He, and he's actually going to have to probably, yeah, play out this game. Matthew Dupucci, oh, he has to... Well, I want to keep him on, but he has to be keep fit at the same time. And Hector Ballerin, that's the problem. Ballerin is just this pacey talent. He's got 20 pace. He's got high potential, wonder kid status. I, I, I guess, I suppose, Debushi's not going to be around at his best quality forever. Is he 30 now? 29, 30? So, yeah, you got to yeah, keep those things in mind. And, yeah, apologies. Sometimes I get really excited uh, and I talk a lot, but I, I'm just excited with the new game and how we're playing at the minute. Oh, I'm just so excited that we're... Because I'm always scared that I, the tactic I create is not going to be good. And then we're going to have to try and create a new tactic that's going to yeah, need time to become fluid and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm really happy. But I can't get too excited because it's just one game. But come on. Uh, you can't um, you can't just yeah sweep it under the carpet. you gotta, uh, you got to look at what you're doing right now and praise that, I feel, and know what you're doing and analyze that, um, which is important. Uh, but anyway, who are we going to take off now? Maybe Koscielny? I think Koscielny, maybe. Hmm. Theo Walcott, he still needs more match fitness, Walcott. Actually, we'll take off Giroud. It's like, yeah, we're not bringing on Walcott because he needs to score or something like that. And we'll change his role to Poacher. Um, Sorry, Walcott, not target man. Definitely not. That's probably his worst role. He's pretty small. Uh, But yeah, Poacher's uh, probably what Theo's best at. Uh, but I don't want yeah Theo Walker to be just becoming this player we use off the bench, and he's a, he's supposed to be a first team player. But uh, Gabbiadini, obviously, yeah, showing his quality. Giroud showed today, uh, so interesting. Uh, leave your thoughts on Walker. Should he be a starter or the players starting today? This starting eleven, I, I don't want to change it. Uh, that first half was absolutely amazing, and then we're just kind of yeah settling in the second half. I'm not saying, not really not going on with the job. We're just controlling the game. Maybe we can score a fifth. Coquelin. Goes out wide to Monreal. Monreal. Sanchez. Come on, finish this. Oh, but good defense. Uh, Koscielny cleared it. It's Ballerin. Ballerin, Coquelin, Ramsey. And there's Meza Ozil. Walk up to finish. Walk up. Ozil gets his hat-trick. That's exactly what we wanted today. Of course, huge performance from us, but yeah, Mezit to finish off the deal really today. Five-star performance, 5-0. Walcott uh, just played that, uh, set it up for Ozil. Ooh, went close. It went close, but impossible to save, I guess, coming in off the post like that to make it 5-0. What a performance here today. Of course, I really don't want to think about it that it could be this. It's the beta, maybe, because I remember last year, this time last year, there was a lot of results, and maybe in games where there was a lot of goals scored, people talk about it was the beta and it wasn't balanced. But, yeah, like, you just got to, yeah, again, like I said, you got to focus on what you've just done and the good performance. But I'd like to see that consistent. I just don't want to be too excited about this result. We've got to be focusing on the following games to come, uh, but we will push on. And, yeah, 15 shots on target. I'm pleased about the defense as well. So you've got to look that side of the game. Didn't concede many chances. So I was happy with that as we will, um, yeah, push on after this and we'll see, yeah, the outcome of this result. And there we get more achievements unlock, thumping and hat-trick. Um, you check out the other results. Uh, Chelsea, uh, you know, they picked up the points. A Jose Perez. So Ozil wasn't the only hat-trick today. A Jose Perez is a quality player. We've got some very nice attributes, actually. Uh, we'll get a scout report on him, and that will make him on the shortlist as well. Uh, fans jubilant after the Everton result. Um, Chambers close to triggering, uh, triggering a clause. Uh, he, or we have to pay yeah, Southampton $1 million, So you always got to be aware of clauses you have as well. So what a performance. Uh, Meza Ozil. Um, and it wasn't just Ozil, though. Like, generally, when a player scores a hat-trick, it's all about him. Of course, had a fantastic game, but it just wasn't him. It wasn't all him. 
a lot of the team, the whole team played well. It wasn't just a single guy performing. It was the whole team, and that's uh, what's going to get you success, a whole team performing. So there we go. What uh, episode? First two games, first two wins, still no con- no goals conceded, which is good to see. Um, first game, 1-0 against West Ham, and then 5-0 against Everton. Leave your thoughts on this episode. And drop a like if you'd like to see another video later today.